and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Roshni Dhar. Let's look at today's top headlines. 3,000 COVID cases for a second straight day. India recorded more than 3,000 COVID cases for the second consecutive day on Friday with 3,095 people testing positive for the infection in the last 24 hours. The positivity rate percentage of samples testing positive from those tested was recorded at 2.6%. Regarding the Rajasthan doctors' strike, Rajasthan Medical Council intervenes, demands details of striking doctors. The strike of Rajasthan doctors protesting against the right to health bill has now seen the intervention of the State Medical Council as well as the State Human Rights Commission with the Rajasthan Medical Council, now writing to the various universities and medical colleges to provide details of the striking doctors. In this regard, Dr. Manish Sharma, the registrar of the Rajasthan Medical Council, recently wrote to the principal and administrators of attached hospitals, including Jaipur Bay Sawai Man Singh Medical College and RUHS College of Medical Science, and all the government medical colleges under Raj MES. The council has further been asked to submit a factual report before the Commission on 10th of April for the purpose of assessment by the State Human Rights Commission. In order to comply with this, the Council has directed the heads of the medical college and hospitals across the state to provide the names, date of birth and council registration number of striking doctors at medical colleges and hospitals within three days to the Council's email address. The letter further directed the medical colleges to ensure that the details are provided so that appropriate action can be taken under law against the striking doctors. A medical college gets government ultimatum that pay rupees 70 crore or vacate the premises. Issuing a warning to the management of Punjab Institute of Medical Sciences, the state government has asked it to deposit the pending concessionaire fare or vacate the college. The notice to the college management in this regard has been served by the additional Chief Secretary of Medical Education and Research. For the last nine months, the matter has been pending and the college management already owes around Rs. 70 crore to the government. Doctors at Bai Jerbai Vadia Hospital for Children remove 100 gram hairball from a 10-year-old girl. Doctors team of Bai Jerbai Vadia Hospital for Children successfully removed a 100 gram hairball from the stomach of a 10-year-old girl who used to pull her hair and eat it. The girl was known to have trichophagosis, compulsive eating of her hair linked to hair pulling, leading to intense stomach pain. The patient is doing well after the two-hour surgery. The patient, while touching her stomach, felt the presence of a hard mass and reported this to her mother. The mother was alarmed and rushed her to Vadia Hospital for further treatment. Kolkata man is the world's first human to be infected by killer plant fungus. The first case of a potentially deadly fungal infection caused by plants was discovered in a man from Kolkata. The 61-year-old, a plant mycologist, complained of a recurring coach, hoarseness of voice, difficulty in swallowing, a sore throat and fatigue for three months. He had no history of diabetes, HIV, renal disease, any chronic disease or trauma. The man who was not named had been working with decaying material, mushrooms and various plant fungi for a long time as part of his research activities, said doctors in the journal Medical Biology Case Reports. Doctors performed an X-ray and CT scans on the man. The X-ray on the chest came back normal but the CT scan results showed a paratracheal abscess in his neck. Paratracheal abscesses can block airway and lead to life-threatening infections, which can be deadly if not caught and treated quickly. Doctors removed the pus and sent a sample for testing to the WHO Collaborating Center for Reference Research on Fungi of Medical Importance, where he was diagnosed with chondrosterium purpureum. That's all for today. Stay safe. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like subscribe and press the bell icon.